Taititse Noyulm, the club that signed Dmitry Ofcharov, Trolls Morgard, Lin Yunju, and Tomokazu Haramado, has left the Bundesliga. After receiving two 10,000 euro penalties, Taititse Noyulm has not applied for participation in the 2023 24 German league season. Trolls Morgard and Lin Yunju received fines of 10,000 euros and a 10 game suspension for the next season because they participated in other national leagues. The Tisch Tennis Bundesliga demands exclusivity from all registered players. Morgard played for the club Aslov on January 31 in the Swedish league. Lin Yunju participated in the T League of Japan for the club Kenoshita Meister Tokyo in a match on February 11. The TTBL allows players to transfer mid-season to other German clubs or to other countries if the application is submitted by January 1. Taititse Noyon did not meet the deadline. Trolls Morgard and Lin Yunju played in the German Cup Final Four on January 8 and helped Taititse Noyon to their first title since the foundation in 2019. Only after the German Cup Final did the players ask the TTBL to revoke their contracts so that they could join other clubs outside the transfer period. The application was rejected by the Tisch Tennis Bundesliga. In a Zutvestrenfunk interview, Taititse Neuel manager Florian Ebner admits that they knowingly violated the contract. He criticized the fact that the penalty would only apply in the next season instead of immediately and stated that they would wait for the arbitration court's decision. We are firmly convinced that the league has not worked cleanly and that the contracts are not clean and consistent, Ebner explained in the interview. Last week, Dmitry Ofcharov strongly criticized the decision of the TTBL and accused the chairman of the TTBL Supervisory Board, Andreas Prus, of acting with bias, as Prus is also the manager of Borussia Dusseldorf. Unfortunately, I am very doubtful right now if Trolls, Yunju and myself will continue to play in the TTBL. To play in a league where the chairman of the supervisory board is also the person in charge of Borussia Dusseldorf and Deciades everything in order to seek personal advantage is something where myself and my teammates have difficult to imagine to be a part of. Hopefully the TTBL can have not independent board in the future. I am sure it will be better for the sport. Proust rejected the accusations. My club and I have always followed the rules. The players of Taititse Noyum, on the other hand, deliberately violated the TTBL rules. It is common for club representatives to have seats on supervisory boards. We are very disappointed with Dmitry Ofcharov, he has completely lost his way with his unfounded statements in which he attacked me personally and my club, Proust said in a press release. On Monday, February 27, Dima apologized for his words. It was wrong of me to accuse Andreas in his position as chairman of the TTBL supervisory board of benefiting personally. I am sorry for this and I would like to apologize to Andreas for it. I have known Andreas Proust as a decent person for over 20 years. There was and is no reason to believe that Andreas does not carry out his role in the TTBL reliably and legitimately. Andreas Proust accepted the apology, stating Dima has shown greatness, demonstrating himself as a sportsman with his clarifications and thus correctly resolved the matter. However, the decision has already been made, Taititse Noyum announced that they will be leaving the TTBL and will only continue to compete in the European Champions League. After final discussions with management, the coach, and especially the players of the Champions League team, the decision was only a formality. Taititse Noyum believes that the penalties against Trolls Morgard and Lin Yunju are unlawful. Taititse Noyum prefers to sign contracts now for the Champions League with Morgard and Lin, rather than have them sign abroad in the coming weeks. Taititse Noyum wants to continue playing in the Champions League and has already received verbal commitments from this year's players. This will certainly be a controversial and problematic issue for ETTU.
Will the European Table Tennis Union accept the registration of a club that does not participate in a European National League? We already know that soon there will be another controversy involving the Tay Tay Tse Noi Ung team.